Hey, how's it going? I'm Rory from Ramatime, and welcome along to this episode 8 of Satisfactory Version 1. Episode 8! It's funny because we're on episode 8, and I kind of don't really feel like I've achieved anything. <laughs> I should really call this the series where I introduce the episode, I tell you that I'm going to do something, and then I do something completely different. But it's all fine. It's all fine, honestly. This is the chilled out playthrough where we just work through building up to uh, the space elevator parts and unlocking stuff as we go. We've got some things to unlock here. We're currently about to unlock the uh, Mark IV belts, which I'm quite excited to do. So we'll start off by uh, filling it up with those and those. And then we'll just hit the baboosh button. Baboosh! <laughs> Milestone reached. The transportation of resources can reach new heights of efficiency. With the Mark IV belts and lifts, the truck, but even more importantly, your effort. Handling a large and complicated vehicle the like the truck. truck should come easy to a well-trained pioneer such as you. They are an obvious improvement over tractors concerning industrial purposes. Improvements for personal use were not measured. <laughs> but yes, so we've now got Mark IV belts. We've got the super fast belts. Well, pretty fast belts anyway. But we've also got the truck. The truck is such a cool looking thing. Look at that. Ah, oh, look at it. You can fit so much more in that as well. Yeah. So we'll have to upgrade our little tractors and swap them out to trucks. But let's have a look. What else are we going to upgrade? So we are to here now. And we can up, we can do this one. We've, we've got the stuff ain't making. I just need to give it a bit of time just to catch up again because I just used all my frames. But trains. That is going to be our priority. I want trains. I also want this Mark II blueprint. I think this is the one that gives you 5x5. Five five. So I want to build all my blueprints around that. I don't want to build them in the existing one. Also, these would be quite handy. And I do have enough of those. Ooh. But I used all my rubber. And I need to go back and collect more. Okay. Not a problem. Not a problem. So we'll be able to unlock the pipes straight away with no problem at all. So I'll collect the stuff and I'll get that unlocked. Let's select this. So yes, yeah, so I've already got 50 in my pocket. Can't do it, obviously, because the pod's away. It won't actually be that long. And then, yeah, I need to collect more rubber. So we'll head back over to the other base and we will grab our rubber. Okay, well, this is the Mark II pipes and baboosh. Milestone reached. Pipelines and pipeline pumps can now be upgraded to Mark II. They are like Mark I, but better. Pipes seem to be objects of fascination to humans. In fact, there are reported instances of humans doing nothing but thinking about pipes for hours. <laughs> that now means that we can uh, we can head back over to the other side and we can upgrade all the pipes to Mark II pipes, which is good. We can use Mark II pumps as well, which will reduce the number of pumps that I need. So yeah, so there's a, a bunch of handy upgrades that that will have provided. Um, like I say, next, I need to get trains underway. I really, really want to be able to start setting up my train network it's all getting exceptionally exciting and here's a fun thing while all of this has been going on I didn't actually realize but the automated wiring has still been running so we have all of them so I'm gonna sync them I mean that's got to be a fair few right but it's gonna take a little while to run down so we'll leave that going and I'll come back to that in a bit well I'll tell you what we are now gonna go ahead and unlock the trains baboosh because yeah, it was only a case of just waiting for the stuff to get made. Milestone reached. Trains are excellent for efficiently moving vast quantities of parts. Train logistics can be made more precise and complex with tools found in the railway signaling milestone. I listen to all my pioneers, often when they're not even aware of it. So due to popular demand, I have added a motivational message. Choo choo mother f <laughs> <laughs> That's absolutely brilliant. I love that. So yeah, so there we go. We've got trains now. So we're going to have to start thinking about the train platforms and everything. We are getting really close to be able to be able to, to being able to sort of start a proper and make stuff that looks kind of tasty and nice. Do have these to unlock. 50 computers. I kind of used them to get six slots, which is a bit of a, a shame. I've got 27. Yeah. Uh, so to unlock the advance, which gives us the computers. Yeah, we can do that next. We've, we've got the stuff making for that. We just need to give it a bit of time to, to build up again. That one, yeah, it's going to take a little bit longer, which is annoying. 
but we'll get there. We'll get there. It won't be too long. What did I want to check in here? Look at all this. <gasps> Iron pipes. That I definitely want. That I don't want, but that I do want. Do I want it right now? Possibly. I'm going to leave it there just for the moment, though. So I was just looking at this, um, and I'm curious, because I don't remember this. I'm, I mean, I must have done it, but I don't remember this. So the turbo fuel, it needs 15 compact of coal, which I'm pretty sure I can do. I've got the stuff to do that, just to make the 15, and a hard drive. I can't remember how you make turbo fuel, though, and I want to know. And I've got sulfur over here, but I've got no coal. However, there are two tractors that pass by here fairly frequently, and these have got coal in them, because that's what they run on. There's a test that I am going to perform which is the speed of tractors with the different fuels. I don't know. Does it affect the speed? So if I put turbo fuel in a tractor, is it going to move faster than if it's running on coal, for example? I don't know. Oh, I need to find out now. I just want one to turn up for the minute, though. Here it comes. Don't mind me. I'm just going to have a quick look in your bot bot. So we need to quickly make an assembler somewhere. This factory is such a mess. It's ridiculous. So compacted coal, please. Yes. You can have some of those. Right, so I just need you to make me five of those, please. Perfect. Oh, no, it's not... I want to talk about five. I need 15, don't I? Dog barking again. There we go. There's me 15. Let's get in here. Um, where is it under? This one. Find it again. And go. What's it going to give us? Turbo fuel unlocked. This upgrade to regular fuel is optimal for fuel power generators, jetpacks, and fulfilling long distance trucker fantasies. <laughs> Turbo fuel, hey? Ionized fuel. Oh, getting interesting. Needs a hundred. That's, that's harsh. That is a hundred power shards. Wow. So, rocket fuel. That's a, that's a new one, obviously. So, that, that would. Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. I don't know what that. That is in the middle there. What's that? Oh, an empty fluid tank. Oh, okay. We now have turbo fuel. Or, as they call it, turbo fuel. Turbo fuel. Oh, so you just add coal in with it. Oh, but it has to be the compacted coal. Oh, my goodness me. Right, okay. But no, this is not such an issue, because we can actually use this over at the... We can do this over at the refinery. We've got the stuff for it, because we've got the fuel being made. And we've got the things for the smokeless powder. See, I'm going to get distracted again. And instead of doing what I'm supposed to be doing, I'm going to end up making turbo fuel. And tractors and trains and... Truck. Here's a question for you. Does this accept turbo fuel? I mean, it just says no fuel, so I assume it must do then. And does that mean that it's going to do more? If I pump turbo fuel into it, let's say I convert all of the fuel that's being made into turbo fuel, which it takes... Oh, goodness me. I'm going to have to start getting my proper maths head on. I'm going to have to do a bit of thinking about all of that. But yes, I think this might be a plan. It might be a plan. And I really fancy some turbo fuel for flying around with, because I think that that's going to be a lot of fun. Right, anyway, so let's get on. Let's go and uh, look at the state of this place. Honestly, we will get this tidied up. Once the new one starts getting built, that will be a separate little project, which it will be just to refurb this and turn it into a little outpost that does a bunch of stuff and whatnot. Or I might just delete it all. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see, we'll see. It's doing its job at the moment. It's getting me many important bits. Anyway, so let's get on. Let's go and do something proper. Well, I was just going about my business. And I stumbled across this. Doesn't it look cool? You hear the noise. But do you see the way the, the particles inside move depending on where I'm standing? How cool is this? Like, this is really cool. This is very, very cool. See, now the particles aren't moving. Now they're going nuts again. Yeah, it's really interesting. Now, obviously, I haven't collected any of this yet. So we're going to do it. The strange alien matter, colloquially known as SAM, seems to be in its dormant crystalline state, meaning it won't break down your body into its base atomic components on touch. <laughs> this living matter is extremely versatile and has countless applications. Research it in the MAM to establish locally appropriate classification and application, as well as a secure method of awakening. So you hear, every now and then you hear a noise, like uh, there's the talking coming from it. It's, it's quite disconcerting. <laughs> I'm going to stick a load of those on there. Oh, I love that. I never get tired of that animation. While they're going and doing their thing, let's quickly create ourselves a man over here. And let's get scanning it. Strange alien matter analysis completed. Dormant crystalline SAM can now be found with the resource scanner. 
In its dormant state, it is safe to handle without special equipment and can be stored indefinitely. Research for enabling the reanimation of dormant SAM is now available. Fill the rivers with blood and let the effigies defile our temples. The sun will follow. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Okay, right. Well, let's let's keep going. So um, we'll do this one now. How do we then make reanimated Sam? Sam reanimation recipe unlocked. Sam can now be safely awakened, provided it is contained. Meaning, if not contained in special electromagnetic storage, it tends to start breaking atomic bonds of any matter it has physical contact with, and reconstructing it into easily transportable resources. Scripture and blood compose harmony. Follow our hollow temple halls and listen to the echoes of your ripples. Our bones are more beautiful than yours. <laughs> it, it, it makes it fast? Okay. God, this stuff turns over quick. Good speed it moves. Do this one. A Sam Fluctuator. Sam Fluctuator recipe unlocked. The fluctuator can mimic unique communication through patterns of electric frequencies to instruct reanimated Sam to perform specific tasks or give specific restrictions, such as matter to energy conversion. It can also function as matter memory, reading the exact composition and state of a collection yeah. of matter in one location breaking it down, and near instantly reconstructing it in another location, which has incredible potential for smart storage. Your friends should solve it to flip into a tapestry, matter and matter and matter and mind and melody. Sorry, I've been distracted while that was going on. Just because randomly this guy's just started chucking rocks at me. You mind? Where were we? I got distracted. <laughs> I was trying to figure out... So can I actually make these here, or do I need a... You can make them here. Oh, we make three. Okay. But I need ten. I like the way it all glitches. There's, there's, this is interesting. Oh, what have I not got enough of now? Oh, no, it's those. I have to make those first. Right. So we now have our ten. So... Oh, there's the power augmenter. Oh, wow. And it needs a hundred and a thing. Okay. Oh, well, we've got lots of cool new stuff. I really want to unlock this thing as well. I haven't got a Mercer Sphere on me, though. This is going to get really exciting. And this is exactly what I've been wanting to unlock. See, now I need to build a little Sam factory here to make all of this stuff without me having to do it manually. Oh, this is what I mean, I just cannot do anything without getting distracted. Oh, it's so annoying. Let's just leave this gear here for a minute though, because there was one thing I just wanted to quickly mention. So the eagle-eyed people might have noticed that my fuel in the bottom left has turned red. And the reason for that is because I've upgraded over here. So I just did a bit of tweaking and now these are all running on turbo fuel or turbo fuel because of the little extra bit I built back here. And what this is doing is this is uh, taking my coal and my sulfur and it's converting it into compacted coal which is then going into these five refineries here which are then creating turbo fuel. That then heads over this way through this very odd pipe system. I need to, I do really need to start fixing all of this up but I'm just kind of building it still. But that then comes up here I need to fix these pipes as well. I'm trying to color code them so I know what's what. So we've got turbo fuel being made in the canisters so that I can use them for flying around. But then we've also got them coming over here into these generators. Now, I seem to have a bit of a problem and they're not doing anything. And I don't know if it's because they don't actually like turbo fuel because it's there. Oh, okay. Well, I might have just learned this just then. No, it says supported, but it burns through it really quickly. I just don't get, it's not doing it. It's not using it. I don't know why. What am I doing wrong? There's a full pipe. They're batteries. This has got the same problem. I mean, do I need to actually break them and remake them? I mean, will that do it? All right, well, let's do a test. Probably need to kill that and then reconnect it. It's filling up with turbo fuel. Oh, so there you go. So it must be then. Oh, yep, that's just come alive. <laughs> Look at it go. So it burns through it really quickly, but does it use more of it? Does it use less of it? I, I don't know. I just simply don't know. But yeah, I wonder why that is then. Why? I mean, let me just try this. No, it's because it's it's like stuck in there. I mean, 
On pipes there's a way of flushing the system, but there doesn't seem to be one on this, so I guess I have to kill the, this one as well and, and remake it. This is one of my favourite features that they added not too long ago where you could actually nudge stuff around because of the sheer number of times I placed something, got it wrong, had to place it again. Oh, and there we go, that one's alive. But yeah, I can't work out whether this is actually better or worse <laughs> than the ordinary fuel because it uses more, but is it giving me more, more power? I mean, we're charging up those batteries now. I mean, that's that's a good thing. I think these ones should be... Oh, no, 62. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we've got a bit of a mess going on here. This all needs to be done. But yeah, turbo fuel is brilliant. Look how much faster now we we fly up into the sky. It's great. <coughs> okay, well, that is now all of them up and running properly on the turbo fuel. And yet we're now at least... We're out of the danger zone. We've got uh, a bit more capacity now. Still need to do something a bit more permanent, but again, nothing's permanent at the moment. Everything is still part of the journey. <laughs> oh, it's so much better now. Look at that. It flies proper. But anyway, what was it we've got to do? There was something that I said I was going to do in this episode, and I still haven't done it. So yeah, I did get distracted again, but not entirely. So let me explain. I did kind of build a mini factory down here that is still in progress, but it's working because of the fact that it is creating me concrete. And I need concrete because, as I did promise, I have started what will be the main base. Now, I know I haven't got too far, but this was actually quite hard to get to this point. And it's inspired by a design I saw a little while back, and I, honestly I couldn't even tell you where now. I just remember the waterfall going through some floor. So I thought this would be quite fun. And my thinking is that there's going to be roads running around here and it's going to be multi-layered with multiple buildings around and the space elevator is going to be slap bang in the middle here going up there Ow. and there's going to be trucks driving around on these cool looking little roads they're all going to be detailed i'm going to make it look as snazzy as possible i just i thought this looked really really cool sound goes a bit funky when you go behind it but how cool is that um and then yeah this is going to be all sort of multi-layered going to start building uh somewhere in here is going to be the kind of the main area for all the storage like where you go for to get everything and everything will be brought back here and then we've got plenty of space underneath for a, a mega train station and and so on and we've got this cool little bit here which is going to allow trucks to drive up and down and hopefully it's wide enough for two but then yeah because i was using so much concrete i built this it's not it's not super special but I thought I'll do something interesting with the design anyway and just come up with something a little bit unusual. So it works on this three-tiered kind of setup. And everything gets made and sent across its own roof. And everything comes out the side there. I've just run out of fuel. Ow. And I kind of like the way that the, the limestone goes up all the way to the end and then back down to the first ones here. It takes the long route to get here. And this is all kind of quite clean. So I've got to build an entrance way. I'm thinking I might have some trucks that take the, the concrete from this one up to the main base. But I'll probably build a more efficient concrete base somewhere else. Because this is only running on a, a maxed out normal node with a Mark II Miner. So I can really, the most I'll get out of that sort of anytime soon is going to be the 270 belt. And I could I could add another floor and keep going up, but I don't know, I quite like the balance of this one. I need to do something to give it a bit more shape. Uh, like I say, I'm going to use nice glass. I want lights all over it. We need uh, we need to set up the, um, the quartz factory because I don't have enough quartz to do all the light stuff. And all of that. But look at it out there! That's going to be quite a sight. Multiple tiers. Multiple levels, trucks driving around, belts everywhere. Yeah, this is going to be excitingly fun. Oh, look. -a. However, there was something I did want to do right now. Right, right this very second. And that was get out a man right on the edge of this infinite drop. And I'm going to go to the alien technology. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. And I'm going to click on this bad boy here. And then realize I don't have one of these with me. Oh, that's really annoying. Hang on. Now I have one. Right, let's do it. Finally going to see what all of these are. Ho oh, ho ho! Dimensional depot unlocked. SAM can be utilized to deconstruct matter down to its chemical elements in one dimension, and the Mercer sphere allows it to be transferred and stored in another. 
Once parts are fed into the dimensional depot, they can be accessed by the Pioneer inventory and built gun system at any time, anywhere. We see through the window. It is pathetic. Consume more blood. The glass will not shatter. The metal will not bend. The wood will not splinter. Weave. Oh, that's so weird. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, this is really excitingly cool because I want to play with this. Now, I didn't realize that. So it, it says stack increase. So I don't quite know what that means, but expansion 200. So I guess, yeah, it doubles the, the amount you can store. So it just keeps allowing you to store more and more. Oh, you need lots of Mercer spheres for some of those. So this one, manual depot uploader. So it enables uploading from the inventory. Now that I really want, really, really want. And I'm pretty sure we've got everything we need for that backup base although we do need to make a few of those but yeah so we could probably do that uh, upload speed okay yep that makes kind of plenty of sense so the actual thing itself where are you dimensional depots oh so each one needs a mercer sphere ah and ten of those see i had this idea because like i said i don't really know how it works yet but i've left two here so that i could build some on the top of this but now I get why there's so many Mercer spheres around. You're going to use a lot. Uh, yeah, I'm a bit. I'm a bit surprised at how many of them we're going to need to use. Wow, going to definitely need to do a bit more exploring. But now that we have the gun, the turbo fuel, that's uh, infinitely more doable. But check this out. You don't realise the size of this until you try and get to it. Like we're still not there yet. It's yeah. This is going to be absolutely huge. I'm not. Are we going to reach? Oh, we just got here. This is going to be huge, you know, and it's using tons of concrete, and that's that's why I had to had to build something down here because obviously I'm doing this. I'm not using any. Well, I don't even think you can use mods yet on version one, but I'm, you know, no flying, no god mode, none of that. I'm doing this all by hand. So I think I'm going to nip back to the main, well, the current main base, and I might actually pack up the stuff and bring it over here. Problem is, I've got to get up there. <laughs> Okay, we've just packed up the space elevator. We're now going to pack up the hub. See what we can grab out of there. And I guess... Oh, hang on, what have we left behind? Look. Some iron ore. That's fine, that can sit there for now. Yeah, and I reckon we're, we're kind of good to go and say, right, this is where we're going to set it up. We've got 30 coupons. Let's print those bad boys out right now. Uh, ba -ba 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 -bum. 30 tickets we can buy stuff so we need them so I want my attachy to the wall things I'm not too worried about the lights at the moment I will want them obviously I do quite fancy some of those but I'm just gonna double check I also I really want these patterns oh there's so many things I want we're gonna add those we're gonna add those and we're gonna add those got all of the walls I want those so 15 in here uh, I want it. Yep. Um, oh, I want the glass roofs. Five, ten. Ah, uh, wow. That was it. We've done all of our tickets. Man, that's crazy. Right. There we go. We'll get all of that later. Right. Oh, it's a little bit sad. I'm gonna have to keep coming back though because there's there's so much gear here that I need. <laughs> it's absolutely crazy. But it's such a mess. I'm looking forward to going somewhere and I get set up and be less of a mess. Like, for example, I've come all the way back over here and not actually brought enough to make the space elevator, which was kind of one of the things I was going to do, but never mind, we'll do that another time. <laughs> I know I've just done this, but that's because I've just been distracted. Um, I wanted to <laughs> set up the man. So, anyway, I get, get back on track of what I was thinking about. For a start, I really, really want to unlock one of them. I need computers, I need... Oh, yeah. It's coming soon. It's not urgent because we've got enough power. Whereas this, the uploader. This I want to enable right now. Do it. Oh, yes. Here we go. Manual depot uploader unlocked. Storage dimension and pocket dimension now connected both ways and stable. Parts can now be uploaded to the storage dimension directly from the inventory. Note. The storage dimension now understands the boundaries of the pocket dimension and recognizes the distinction between matter belonging to the Pioneer's inventory and matter belonging to the Pioneer. The window within a window within the shallows within the deep, curling around itself separately, echoes strangely. 
I'm sure strange is the correct term for what this must feel like to you. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I did realize I didn't have enough of the thingies, the uh, Sam Flux whatnots. So I came over here, I built a quick system, really, really quick, just to generate those things. Um, and then I've turned them into the Sam Flux capacitors or whatever the hell they're called. And um, yeah, that gets me over over that hurdle and then I just jump up to the top of this uh, mountain and I use it to volley myself back over there again hello oh that one really hurt anyway what was I saying so yes I'm jumping over here there's a purple sluggo over there I might as well head for that yeah so you get quite a good view of what is going to be an amazing looking base from over here Obviously, this uh, hypertube is temporary. That will go. It's not part of the aesthetic. Uh, I'm getting a bit low, and I'm quite over a big hole. I better come down a bit. So let's have a quick play, then, and see if we can figure out how this works. So I'm going to get rid of that for now. And I'm going to make one of those. Okay. So do I have to do anything to it? Configure. Ooh. Drop items here. Okay, 15 per minute. So it's very slow, but... Fine. Oh, this won't work. <laughs> this setup won't work until this bin is full. Oh, that's a bit stupid. Right. Okay. Well, we'll we'll give it a hand. We'll stick some of those in there. There we go. We've got a load going in there. Uploading. Okay. So what can I? Ah, here we go. This is new. So, drop items here to upload back to the dimensional depot. Take from inventory before depot. Ah. Right. Okay. So yeah. So if I want that concrete. I just drag it in, but obviously it's just it takes forever to upload at the moment still because it's really slow. <laughs> oh, I love it. Okay, but no, this is going to be good once I upgrade all of this and and get it, you know, so it's a bit faster and doing a bit more. That's going to be amazing. I mean, I'm assuming I can have as many of these as I want, right? I don't know what the limitations are like in terms of what you can have in here, but this is brilliant. I can set up some of these at the original base. And then have access to the gear there without having to keep going backwards and forwards. But what I don't know, how does this bit work? So I'm going to upload that. So where does that go? Hog remains. So it's just in there. Oh, so you, you, there's no access. It's just now in the cloud and accessible from there. Oh, it's really cool. Okay, it's really exciting. <laughs> oh well, that's really cool. I'm I'm very pleased with that. It's, it's uh, it might be a simple thing. It's that's something that's it's just going to make the game so much different to how it used to be when I used to play it. So yeah, this is really cool. So anyway, I'm going to leave it there for this episode. We have made some progress. We do have the start of our base over there, which I did promise I would do. I did get distracted, admittedly, but now at least I've got you know easy access to lots of concrete right here, which I'm going to need. The depot is all very well, but. I'm using tons of concrete over there. I've got a lot of plans for how the layout's going to be. I've just got to literally sit and do it. It's going to be very laborious, but I'm going to enjoy it myself anyway. Yeah, so yeah, just want to thank you again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And uh, if you did enjoy it, please remember, press that like button. And also, if you're not subscribed, consider consubscribing. And then hit the bell if you want to know when I put up new videos. And then we're all very happy and you're all very lovely. And that's amazing. Anyway, this is going to be fun. I'll see you in the next video. As always, bye for now.